Young lady we're about to bring in, she is a Billboard Music Award nominee for Top Gospel Artist and Top Gospel Song, a two-time Grammy nominated and a five-time Stellar Grammy nominated. It is the one and only Jeff Kaylin Carr. Good morning, Kaylin. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm excellent. I know. You have to be doing excellent because God is doing some amazing things in your life. And we're oh, so proud thank of you. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to uh, see that you are now an authoress. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> of, this, of this wonderful new book, You Will Win. And I love the title because we need to hear, hear about this. You Will Win. Please tell us a little bit about the book. Yes, it's my first book. It's been long awaited, and now we're actually doing it, and I'm excited about it again. The name of it is You Will Win, and the whole goal for this book, well, let me just say this. Uh, this book is for all age, genres, and genres, and whatever um, in your life you feel like you're being defeated by. This is a book that you want to have, because I just believe that it's not God's will to see his people bowed and so this book is to help you uh, overcome you know and win and whatever obstacle you face because so many times we hear people tell us you will win you will overcome but only few tell us how to and so in this book you know you get a lot of how to inspirational moments and I'll be sharing a few testimonies uh, for myself of how I overcame certain stuff you know in ministry and things like that so, yeah, again, it'll be out later on this year. The name of it is You Will Win. Man, I want all my listeners to please pick this book up when it comes out. Um, I follow you on YouTube and on, mm-hmm. on Facebook Live. And I heard you, you made a quote, failure is not an option. Yeah. And yeah. I was checking you out, young lady. I was checking you out. I was like, all right, because you're just inspiring me, you know. Uh, tell mm-hmm. us, you know, where did all that come from? So it's not an option. And, and is that a chapter in your book? Uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, the theme is in the book, um, you know, not necessarily the chapter, but I am touching on that. Um, and that came from um, me knowing who I am. And I've always mm-hmm. been an ambitious person. And I've always, you know, whatever dream, whatever vision God showed me, that's what I wanted, wanted to become my reality. And, of course, I had to come uh just remind myself that obstacles are going to come. You know, the enemy is going to try to make sure that whatever I set out to do don't prosper because that's his job. He's doing his job, but am I doing my job and making sure that I'm pushing and I'm fighting to make sure that my reality is what God has shown me? Because at the end of the day, last time I checked, God's word overrides the enemy's word all day long. You know, so it's just my job to make sure that I continue to remind myself of what God has spoken. If he, and if he showed it to me, he's going to bring it to pass. All I got to do is keep that ambitious heart and stay faithful to God and watch him work. Amen. Amen. Once again, we're talking with the Grammy nominated to Kaylin Carr. Kaylin, tell me, <laughs> I, mean, I heard you speak of the approval anointing. And you said, you know, talking about something that's coming in this year. And we all know that it is the Jubilee year. But even more than that, we're Christ's children. So we have all these benefits through him. So tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about that approval anointing. You know, uh, one way or the other, over the years, the enemy has been trying to suppress, especially the body of Christ, the people of God's mind, making us feel as if we don't deserve the best. Uh, And so I just Mm. believe that if you are God's child and that's in God's word, then as his children, we're supposed to inherit whoever he is. So if he's prosperity, we're supposed to inherit prosperity. If Mm -hmm. he's love, that's what we're supposed to inherit if he's healing we're supposed to inherit that you know and so with that being said so many people because of that are living beneath their means if you want the house if you want the car you all you got to do is put your faith to work and god is going to make sure that you are approved for in his timing for you you know you got to have that mind that i 
I'm going to accept my, I'm, I'm going to be who God created me to be, in other words. Take on the identity that God has given me. God is not defeat. God is not poverty. God is not sickness. And so that's what you got to say. I'm going to be approved for whatever it is that I desire to have, you know, and I'm just going to live the life God desires for me to live. Amen, amen. Girl, you on fire. I'm going to back up, man. That's going to make me shut up and up. So, but, um, um, I, I'm looking at your song, and I'm like, you spoke over me. Such a, I mean, a beautiful song. You did a wonderful job. You and your dad knocked, just knocked it out. Thank I really, you. Really, really did, and, and I mean that. Not just because we're talking. <laughs> but <laughs> that song, it seems like everything just goes and flows so well together. I mean, only God can do this. Uh, so Thank what you so were you in your life about that, about that song? Um, you know, you spoke over me is talking about, you know, a lot of times when God God Amen. can show us visions and dreams and all of that. And a lot of times uh, we allow the enemy to make us feel, number one, as if we don't deserve to have it. And number two, as if we don't have what it takes to have it. And so God had to remind me, no, I spoke this word over you. I put this greatness in you. And if I have caught, even if you don't qualify according to now natural circumstances and what man is looking for, you qualify in my eyesight, you know, and so um, it, even the second verse, when it's, you know, on top of that, you have people who would try to speak negativity, you know, and a lot of times we can spend our time trying to get people to see what we see, but we have to understand is that's not our place to do that, because God didn't show them the dream, he didn't show them the vision, he gave it to you, therefore you just do as God has instructed you to do and God going to fix it to where everybody who, who once counted you out all the negative negative words they was releasing on you they're going to have to turn around and bless you the song truly blessed our listeners and um, this is an awesome song and a, a much needed song and um, thank you and I see that God is doing uh, tremendous things with you this year I see that you're in, you're in two films and you're also on my favorite TV show called Green <laughs> you're doing the hearing. really <laughs> oh, I love. Thank Let you. Them. Talk to that youngest daughter. <laughs> Tell her get it, get it fixed. The husband want to get right. <laughs> <laughs> He's struggling with something, but if he wants to get right, let him get right. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us, how did that happen, and what are you going to be doing on that? You know what? They contacted my team. Um, you know, God is just amazing. Acting is something that I've always wanted to do. And then outside of that show, you know, I'm featured uh, in my first uh, movie this year uh, that will be coming out this summer. I'm excited about that. But uh, even as when I was little, I've always wanted to act and all of that great stuff. But uh, everything in my life has happened in the timing of God. You know, we've never had to force anything, you know, and, that, and that's how God is just allowing the doors like this to be open. And so to get that call, it was just great. I mean, it's, it's one of the most uh, watched shows in our country you know and yeah. uh i'm just i'm excited about it it's a great show i'm happy for you because i said man i, I kept on the show i kept looking i kept saying all right Lord, i love the show i said but somebody got to <sighs> show enough saves on here somebody gotta be somebody gotta show some food on here it's, it's all kind right of right right <laughs> and, and as usual god used the baby the youngest daughter Gigi's daughter so she she didn't got baptized you know what i mean whatever but never like she mm -hmm. she dedicated her life to the lord and now god is using the baby as she does all the time he always uses babies to get everybody yeah. straight you know but i think yeah because uh, well, i mean you know even uh i can relate to that even with my life you know a lot of time or even with jeremiah you know certain things certain, sometimes it take god's got to do something unusual use somebody uh unusual you know to get mm -hmm. his message across and if it takes him using a baby that's what he will have to do you know to bless his people if it takes him using yeah. a donkey that's what he's going to do you know he always has his people in mind and so i can kind of relate to that yeah yeah i, I, I think it's because i think the writer is doing an excellent job and by bringing you in that's like the cherry on top it really is so I see now that you're, you know, you're teaming up with my main man, Ty Trippett. He's probably going to tire you out on stage. You know how tired. Yes. You guys are doing the Bloody Wind Tour. And also, you're on the McDonald's Gospel Tour. So, so tell us, uh, you know, uh, what do you guys hope to accomplish in that tour? I know it's the Bloody Wind Tour. 
And, you know, yes. I know what I think the Bloody Wind Tour is, but, but to you, put in your own words. Uh, the Bloody Wind Tour has been amazing such far, uh, so far, uh, just to see how people come out and they're ready for an experience with God. And my, faith, my prayer was that God would do something highly unusual through this tour that so many people really accept the identity that he has given them you know and they see sides of God that they haven't experienced before and so far it has been a tremendous experience we have been getting so many testimonies so many people are being blessed and so I'm just excited to be a part yes, we're really excited for you because we're really seeing the fruits of God in your life you know, uh, uh, yes. we, we love what you do. We love, we even love the apparel that you choose to wear. You know, you don't think we, we yeah, because <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely a choice. You, you know, it. God is, He's not going to force it on us. We have to choose. To, we have to want it for ourselves. Yeah, we really do, and I, and I think that because you're, you're you're setting a standard, and and that's what we need. To do in order to separate ourselves, you know, sometimes yeah. not, not to not to be weird, but let let mm-hmm. let being kind be the weirdness. Let be giving be the weirdness, but don't act weird. <laughs> you know, mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask you to give me an unusual shout. Could you speak over our show? I know because you say you spoke over me. Can you speak over our show? Like give us a shout. Like I know that sounds sure. crazy. Well, first, I thank God for your show because it is a platform to get the message of Jesus across uh, in so many different ways. And I just believe that because you sacrifice your time and your effort every day to bless people all across the world, that God is going to bless you even greater. You know, there is no sacrifice you could ever make that God don't in return uh, release a blessing upon you for it. And so I just pray that you continue to stay faithful to God and that and let you do the work that God has instructed you to do because you are blessing people and remember in return God is going to bless you beyond your imagination. Praise Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Shaquille. You are You're the welcome. one. You are chosen one. You're the LeBron of the body of Christ. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. God bless. Look, you have a wonderful day. This is Jacqueline Carr, and you are tuned in to Brother D and Sister A. Praise the Hallelujah.